Edson from Color Veil, and today this video is going to be a multi-part um, editing series because it's really important to learn from the very beginning what I would do to create a final product, and this always starts with raw. So this first part of the video will be discussing all of the raw settings I use prior to editing in Photoshop. So I have a photo here straight out of camera and I do a few things always to every raw photo before I open it up for further adjustments. The first thing I start with is to bump up my sharpening. Sharpening a photograph after it is imported onto your computer is really important and it's one of the great functions of RAW that you still have the capability to sharpen before it turns into the JPEG. So what we do is bump it up. I like to keep mine somewhere in the um, lower 50 range. Just works with my camera and my style. Next I'm going to come over and um, adjust some of the things to the exposure. So the first thing, I am generally an underexposed shooter every time. So I always know I need to come up plus 20, plus somewhere around 20 is, is generally um, 0.20 or 0.25 is where I go. Um, sometimes I add a little bit of fill light to it. If you have a different camera raw, you may not have it um, called out as a fill light, but uh, your option's still in there. Um, I think they changed them over to highlights. The next thing that I do always is bump up my contrast somewhere in the 30s and bump up my clarity to meet exactly on um, the same level. So right now I have it at 34 and this one at um, 13. It just gives a really great contrast. Once I bumped up the contrast and the clarity, sometimes I do need to uh, then add a little bit more light in. So we're going to go ahead and bring our, I'm gonna keep my exposure at 0.25, plus 0.25. I generally don't have to play with my temperature because there are some favorite actions that I use that I'm going to get my toning from, but this could definitely be something you could do there. If you noticed that your photo was too warm, too gold, you could pull it over to the blue area, to the cooler tones, and if it was too cool, too blue, you could pull it over to the right, to the gold tones. That really helps you. Once you're set there and you've gone ahead and you've made some adjustments to the sharpening and to your exposure, you're ready to do some manipulation in Photoshop. Um, sometimes I do need to play with the noise reduction. If I was inside and there was a high ISO, generally there's going to be a bit of noise and you can play with the um, sliders there to help. But at this point, I don't need it. So we are going to start off with opening it up into Photoshop. Thank you.